All right, 8.4 now. We are on 8.4, and that's functions. So let's take a look at some logs here. Um, what I want to do is I want to rewrite these into exponential form. Okay, and this is actually not that challenging. Um, the base of a log, which is 64, is the base of an exponential function. Okay, so keep that in mind. The bases are the same. So basically, here's what you do. Whatever this is, whatever number that is to cancel out a log, you take it to that power. So what I mean is that since it's a 64, I take 64 and raise all this to the 64th power. And I do that on both sides. When I do that, pew, that's gone. So you get 16 equals 64 to the 2 thirds. Whatever the base is. So what's the base over here? 16. So I take this to the 16th power and that cancels those logs out. So you get 8 equals 16 to the 3 fourths. And there are those rewritten. To rewrite these in exponential form, the base is 16, right? So I rewrite this as all taking these up in the exponents. 16 to the, and there's the powers. So those cross out. So we get 64 equals 16 to the 3 over 2. And over here, the base is 64. So, take that to the 64 and put those up in the air. Those cancel out. So you get 256 equals 64 to the 4 thirds. All right, rewrite these now. The base is 9, so that means I'm taking it all to the 9. So when I do that, all right, these are gone. So I got 243 equals 9 to the 5 over 2. And over here, the base is 64. So once again, I take this and I put it all 64th. So those cross out. So I get 16 equals 64 to the two-thirds, which I think we already did that one. Again, wow. Okay, find the inverses. What I mean by this is just rewrite it, okay? All I want you to do is, don't worry about that, just rewrite it, okay? All I want you to do is rewrite these. Since that's log with a base 8, I take this to the 8, I take this to the 8. So it's 8y equals x. And if you wanted to graph that, remember like when we talked about inverses before, if you wanted to graph it, you got to switch them around. So it would be 8 to the x equals y. That's how you graph that. Over here, since it's 1 fifth, that means I take it all and put it to the 1 fifth. So I get those to cross out. So I get the 1 fifth um, to the y equals x. And if I wanted to graph it again, I have to switch those. So I get 1 fifth to the x equals y. Opposite of a natural log. The opposite of natural log is E. Remember in your calculator when I kept telling you to press second LN to get the E? Well, natural log and E are opposites of each other. So in order to uh, do this, what you need to do is LN, I take it all to the E instead of a number. So what that means is this is E to the Y, those cross out, equals 3X. It's got X by itself, I divide by 3 on both sides. So by doing that, I get e to the y over 3 equals x. But once again, if you want to graph, you have to swap those around. So really, it's e to the x over 3 equals y. And then you can graph that. To evaluate, um, you can't just type this in. Uh, and this is how kids type it in incorrectly. You need to look at this as two separate logs when you put them in and you try to evaluate them on your calculators. It's pretty simple, but think of base, right? That's your base number of a log. Well, that's also like your bottom, and here's what I mean by that. When you rewrite these, you write it as log 16 divided by log 2. That's how you type it in, okay? That will give you your answer. This one you would type in as log of 1 49th over log 7. And this one you type in as log 125, right? 
log of one twenty five over log of one fifth. So let's see what we get. Log is just right beside the seven on your calculator. So log sixteen divided by log two, you get four. So the answer to this problem is four. Um, log of one divided by forty nine and then all that divided by log of seven gives you negative two and log of one twenty five divided by log of one divided by five you end up getting negative three as your answer for that one and when we come back here we will strictly talk about graphing logs graphing logs when we come back